Hey, what's going on guys? Kelly Zombies are back in another video. Today we're going to be checking out another foreign ration taste review for you guys today. This one is a Animan Packing uh, Combat Ration Type 3. This is dated the 122nd day of 2020. Um, and of course, unfortunately, I did kind of open it. Or I think it was already opened um, when I received it quite a while back. But um, we're going to do a little bit of something different, which will be... Um, I did have a comment uh, a couple videos ago that we were going to do a, um, a side view. And also thinking about just taking everything out. And then cutting the camera and then show encasing every single component. So it just kills on time and it makes it a little bit easier. Rather than just going every single one. And we can just kind of lay everything out. So let's go ahead and do that and see how it goes for this video. Alright, this is practically everything uh, laid out. Now it was difficult to kind of get everything again. I kind of like doing the side view, but it is much difficult to lay everything out considering that this is a table that goes a long ways and not out. So we're going to kind of work with it. Hope you guys like this kind of view. Do let me know in the comments how you like it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go every single component. So got right here. An instant fruit muesli dated uh, August 2021 from Travel Lunch Lightweight Foods. Um, then let me go ahead and get our translator app for the mains because, oh well, this one I don't even got a. This is a chili carnai. So, pie has corn, chili, tomatoes, all that good stuff. And then this one, Heiner Fructas. Um, go ahead and see what this one is. Alright, I'm not going to lie, but trying to make Google Translate kind of make sense of what Hono fructasi is um, pretty much kind of translate to like a chicken stew. So that'll be something worth checking out. Um, we of course have the accessory kit back here. And then we have three of these chocolate bars or I don't know if they're like energy or whatnot. I have seen these. Looks like it's maybe like a sports bar or something. It is bendy, like elastic a bit. So maybe it's kind of like that. That's something new I'll have to check out. An exotic fruit mix. I did have one comment from, I think it was last video or the video before that, um, telling me that I should translate everything, which to German stuff, you kind of know what you're getting to some extent. Um, of course, cookies. A lot of the ingredients and in some of the things are somewhat English. Or it's just kind of something you just go based off of what you can know. Got an orange drink mix. Grapefruit. An exotic, which I'm assuming is kind of like citrus. I don't know what the whole exotic is. And then we have... Zytotron, <laughs> Zytro in or something. So another drink packet. I'm not gonna even bother translating that because it's not a worry. Um, German canned bread. That's um, rye bread. It's not terrible. Not my cup of tea, of course. Um, lemon and lemon pepper tuna fish. Again. This is not something I enjoy eating, but if I had to eat it, then I'd probably hate every second of it. 
that's definitely something in the U.S. ration. That is a menu I've reviewed on this channel, and it was absolutely disgusting. Not even something man fat-free mayonnaise could help. Um, we have chili pepper. So, pretty much a hot sauce of some sort. Then we have another thing that's like chocolate related. So, two dark chocolate bars. And the reason I know that these will be dark chocolate, for those that might not know, is because about pretty much every ration is going to have dark chocolate, not milk chocolate, mainly because um, it takes much longer for dark chocolate to kind of spoil, if you will, or go bad. And also, I'm thinking it's more of like, it's probably difficult more to melt like milk chocolate. Um, I don't know <laughs> much of why, but I'm assuming that's probably one of the cases. Then we have some sort of jam. Let me go ahead and translate this and also, well, this is apricot, so I definitely know I don't got to translate that. Now this Schwartz, I'm not even going to pronounce that. I do not want to offend any uh, German speakers out there or to those that have a little bit of German in them. Uh, let's see. This one is, again, something that Google Translate for some stupid reason won't work, but I'm assuming some sort of jam. Now this is the ball of hell, I'll call it, because this is something that I'm not even going to attempt to eat, even though this is a review, I'm not going to even bother reviewing this because, well, I've had my few comments of telling me <laughs> that they've almost broken teeth on these, and I've seen other reviewers doing reviews of these sesame seed bars, and it's not, a, not it's not a good show, that's for sure. Um, looks like some kind of like vegetable puree or pate of some sort. That's kind of like the um, I'm trying to think what that one ration is. That has that. I think it's the Russian one. The Russian one has like that. They call it a vegetable caviar, but it's not caviar. And then we have probably like another pork pate. That's what it looks like. Um, then we have a fruit dessert. And that is everything here except the accessory kit. So let's go ahead and get this all laid out and check out the um, accessory packet that we have. Alright, this is everything laid out. I also forgot to mention, it also came with two beef bouillons, so I didn't end up showing that. I think I did, but it's alright. Um, in the accessory packet, we have a 17 gram pack of chewing gum. We have two moist talouettes. We have two packs of coffee. Two packets of tea extract. We have a uh, alcoholic wipe, pretty much a moist palette. But I think these actually no, these are napkins. Uh, so never mind. We've got two things of napkins, a wet wipe, um, four things of sugar. We've got two coffee whiteners, four uh, purification tablets, two things of three grams of salt. A uh, packet of matches, and then we have a cappuccino. So, not a bad accessory packet, considering you get quite a lot of food for 24 hours. Probably could even extend it to 48 hours if you really, really, really had to, considering that most of these 24-hour rations in uh, Germany and France and uh Norway and stuff like that, they always packed with at least about almost 5,000 calories, which is quite a lot. And if you really had to, you could stretch it out to 48 hours if you really, really had to. But let's get this all cleared out. Let's get 
everything heated up and onto a tray, and we're gonna see what we got. All right, this is pretty much everything laid out um, that I'm reviewing. I have tried pretty much everything else. I have tried the rye bread. I have tried every drink mix except the Zytron, 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 whatever you want to pronounce it. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, I've already tried the chocolate bars, the cookies. Already, I think, tried to attempt the uh, sesame seed bar, honestly, but... Um, only things I've not tried, obviously, are these, the apple dessert, and some of the pâtés, along with be having the fruit mix with this, and the gonna go for another attempt the lime pepper tuna, but I do not have high hopes for it because, again, I don't like uh, lime pepper tuna. So that's the might be a little bit hard to see because of. I am out of my main light, so I am running on some very dark, um, let me see if I can just remove this, maybe it'll be better. Ah, that works actually. Usually use a black background, cuts up some of the light and unneeded stuff, so. We have the fruit muesli, um, I do have to give it a little mix. And then we have the chicken stew, and then the um, chili carnassade, if I'm pronouncing that right as well. I have no clue. I did use cold water for the um, cereal, so um, let's get these pâtés open and the other things. This is the vegetable uh, puree one. Very vibrant uh, orange color to it. God, I love this stuff. The I wish pâtés were in the states. These ones do not have like that liver strong taste as far as like um being like too potent or too irony if that makes sense not making much sense with a lot of things i say but lemon oh, i'm sorry lime pepper tuna i'm gonna just plop this over here that works work for now um, get the jams now these are of course two years old so they should still be a-okay but can never be too sure I store these pretty well but as far as previously if they've been stored well that's a mystery there's your apricot jam is there. Some kind of chocolate bar. I don't think I've reviewed this before. It doesn't seem familiar. It smells pretty good. Oh my god. This is gonna be a hassle. Is the very sticky bar. Very chocolatey. I'm trying to get everything not all over the place on the floor and stuff. That box I had is very seen its last days. Yeah, that right bread. We will not be uh, eating with any of this. Now I do know, I don't know about the, I think it was the apricot or apple, maybe both. 
Um, I don't know how well that uh, will be, but it smelled kind of like old a little bit, so hopefully it's all right. Hopefully it didn't go bad. Let's try the muesli. I did have time to sit, so maybe not long, but it looks fine. Of course, as you all know, I don't really like muesli, but i try it. Cold water. Definitely would take longer to steep, but it's not bad. Um, again, not something I will ever add to my old crap bag, but if I really, really, really had to, then so be it. It even goes for granola. I know it's really nutritious, but I don't ever see myself adding it. Now, I will say, <clears throat> I will add those, uh, I gotta add a foreign ration to my pack. I have a bunch of those rations. I might as well just add one or two to them because adding freeze-dried food, you need water. And I have a bunch of freeze-dried stuff or dehydrated things that need water. And that's not good. But I have a lot of it sitting around, so I don't know what to do with it. Now, this is the uh, chicken for crease, for crease, however you pronounce it. It's got peas, carrots, the main component is rice, which is kind of weird for a chicken stew or a chicken, uh, whatever. Um, carrots, got peas, mushrooms, chicken, of course. And get that. Let's get also a carrot in there too. There we go. Let's try that out. Hmm. Flavorful. It's pretty soft. I will say it kind of tastes like those um. I was into a chicken, but if you ever had those tuna salad things you buy in a store, that's what this kind of tastes like. And it comes with the crackers, a little tiny spoon. But that's just me. Pretty good. And I did only heat this up to where it's like a little lukewarm. But this is the chili canasade or chili canara. Has little bits of minced beef, red beans, tomatoes, uh, green beans, corn. So, and I don't really eat chili much, but. My dad used to make homemade chili, and I have high hopes for this, honestly. He used to put that chili over rice, oh my god. Mm. Now, hmm. I gotta say, I do not know why <laughs> Instead of dropping so much damn money to send overseas for anything. No, this is not a political thing whatsoever. But why is it that <clears throat> our troops are getting eaten? Uh, they're eating these rations that look so disgusting and so unappetizing. But you have, I mean, despite... It being five, seven years that it lasts, maybe even more depending on conditions and the menu. 
But you get these four in rations with these amazing, tasteful, delicate menus and ration and components. And practically almost more fresher than you'll ever get. This is out of the damn park. That is amazing. Nice little kick to it. And it's not spicy. It has that mild kind of like, it's like heat, but it's not heat. It's got that nice spice to it. That is really damn good. Now, whatever this is, tastes like a citrus drink, a little bit like a lemon, but I, I'm really disappointed with, this is one of the reasons why I have it. Not enough yapping, let's try the apricot jam. Maybe this is black currant. That scared the hell out of me, I'm sorry. <laughs> that thing that was blueberry, I spit it out because I thought it was bad. I just felt something odd or whatever in it. Now this is vegetable, but I'm pretty sure that's blueberry. Now I just ruined the blueberry. Pretty much spitting on it. I don't like that flavor. That's vegetable something. Like a pate. That is gnarly. It's not taste good whatsoever. And we got our pate. Mmm. My gosh, this stuff so good. <laughs> if I could ever just get my hands on this. And why I bought a lot of pad thai. Uh, technically, it's just lunch and meat. But if I could just get my hands on just that little cans, add a bunch to my survival kit, I'll be good. Kind of running out of time here. Hopefully, this doesn't cut off. Um, I'm going to try this. Actually, no, it. No. I'm going to try that lemon pepper tuna real quick. Hopefully this camera doesn't drop on my pepper tuna. Okay. Ugh. God. Ugh. No. He's throwing it right in the garbage as. <laughs> I hate that flavor, man. Absolutely damn disgusting. Let's get that chocolate bar or sports bar taste. Mmm. Has like some Rice Krispies into it. That's pretty tasty. Uh, we were supposed to try this. It has like a very off smell to it. I don't know why. But I'm gonna try a little bit of it. Here it goes. Ugh. Mm mm. I love apricots and I love apples or whatever that is. I don't think that's any good. Um, it has a very bitter and sour taste to it, which I know apricots don't have. I've had apricots. I like apricots. Same thing as mangoes and stuff like that. But that, I don't think that's good anymore. But... That was practically almost everything. I did try these. 
one of my favorites definitely is the chili definitely like the chili more than i like the um chicken but obviously i'm gonna finish what i can off camera when i finish uh uploading this video hope you guys enjoyed this video i definitely say so i loved in reviewing this and first time doing a 24 hour german ration um let me know in the comments below of what you thought and um, if you want to see more of this and maybe like that in the future. I do have a battle box uh, coming soon that I ordered. I don't remember the mission, but stay tuned for that. We'll be definitely reviewing that and unboxing. Um, again, if you enjoyed the video, guys, please be sure to smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel down below. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos I post, rations I try and review. And until next time, guys, I'll see you guys soon. Have a good day, guys.